Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I wanted to make a quick update video for you guys to let you know that iOS 11.1.1 is out right now. And the main thing that this update brings are two bug fixes. So the first one is a huge one that has become a meme online, and that is uh, this autocorrect issue, which was turning the letter I into an A with a question mark inside of a box. It's really bizarre. Um, not really sure why this was happening. Uh, there was a fix issued by Apple, like where you'd have to go into your keyboard and set like a, a text replacement. It was a pain in the ass. So you know what, Apple just said, fuck this. Oh shit, I just got demonetized. And they decided to just push out an emergency update. So it is a Thursday. Uh, obviously they have tomorrow in case something catastrophically failed with the update, but so far it's seemed fine. Um, so I've got it, it's been running fine. I never actually had this bug. I think the reason people had this bug is if they had the predictive text feature turned on, this bar right here. If you didn't have that on, I don't think you ever saw the issue or could do the issue, if that makes sense, like have this happen um, that you were sending. I never saw the issue or had the issue, but some of my friends definitely had this issue and it's super annoying. Like you don't wanna be typing stuff and have this every time you try to type the letter I. So this update will fix that. It also fixes an issue with Hey Siri where it would stop working. Sorry if I just activated all your guys' phones. I don't use Hey Siri, so uh, yeah, that's that. So go download this update, it's a good one. Um, haven't had any issues with it. Some people have been stating that iOS 11.2 beta has this fix in it and it actually does not. Uh, so I saw at least one other YouTuber that was claiming that, so don't believe them. And it also has been shown in some other videos to have increased performance of the phone. So bring up the Geekbench scores. So keep that in mind, definitely a good update. Go check it out. Drop a comment down below on what iOS version you guys are running and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.